Are you a broker in charge? Then you are responsible for the maintenance of your firm's trust accounts. When a real estate commission auditor calls or walks into the office, they will look to you for information and documents. Like many brokers in charge, you may be wondering, how was my firm chosen for an audit? What do I need to be ready? Your firm may have been randomly selected, or the audit may be the result of a referral based on a previous complaint or another issue. The commission routinely does audits, also known as spot inspections, throughout the state. What documents do you need to have in case you are audited? Auditors will usually start by asking to see the prior two months of trust account records. These records include bank account reconciliations and corresponding bank statements, property trial balances, trust account journals and or check registers, canceled checks, fronts and backs, and any corresponding supplemental disbursement worksheets, bank deposit tickets, and any corresponding supplemental deposit worksheets, a sampling of ledger cards that show activity demonstrating both deposits and disbursements for the last two months, property management agreements, lease agreements, listing agreements, buyer agency agreements, and offers to purchase and contract. Save these documents so that they are easily retrieved when requested by commission staff. The auditor will ask questions as part of the audit. Some of the questions are, how many trust accounts do you maintain? Who does the bookkeeping? What computer accounting program do you use? How are your records kept? Who has signature authority on the trust accounts? How many rental units does your firm manage and how many owners? What is your management fee? Does the firm own any properties? And if so, are the funds segregated from the funds of other owners? Once the audit is complete, a copy of the audit report will be sent to the broker in charge. The report may recommend that you take a class or make changes to your record keeping to correct minor violations of the Commission's trust account rules. You should follow those suggestions. Serious issues will be referred to one of the Commission's attorneys for further action. Remember that Commission rules require that you retain documents for three years following the end of a transaction. You can maintain your records either as paper copies or electronically. Contact the Real Estate Commission for a copy of the License Laws and Rules Booklet, which includes trust account guidelines, or simply download the information from the Commission website at ncrec.gov.